So here's a great question we just got. How to target businesses and not retail customers? And this applies to products and services, uh, both, and it's a very, it's a big challenge, B2B versus B2C. Uh, it's a, again, a challenging question I hear often uh, with AdWords. And one way to target this, like other people said, um, is using keywords like wholesale. So if you use wholesale in the keyword search, query, you assume it's a business, or maybe uh, for business, maybe accounting software for small business, or accounting software for enterprise, that also helps you um, segment out the market you're going after. So keyword is one way to do it. However, there is a challenge where if you offer, let's just say dog food, not the best example, but an example, dog food, a uh, whole food um, on wholesale, then someone's gonna look for dog food, they might be looking for wholesale, or they might be looking for retail. It could be B2B or B2C. So, and there's other thing, uh, keywords like that that people just don't put the qualifier like wholesale or for business. They search for a general query and then look for the best deal. Um, they might be a B2B or B2C, it's hard to decipher. Um, so the best way to qualify after you use the keywords um, is going through the ads, qualifying through the ads. And I'll give you an example. A real example out of a customer. Um, my client, he does translation services for businesses. So big businesses, big legal work, medical, corporations, brochures, that kind of thing. Uh, and less so if someone's looking to translate a birth certificate or how to translate a word or something like that. That's B2C, it's not relevant to him. So the challenge is, if someone looks for document translation services, you don't know if it's a big B2C client, uh, I'm sorry, B2B client or a B2C client, a small client looking to translate a birth certificate. Or again, a uh, document could be a brochure, could be a contract, could be a pr proposal, could be a lot of things. So this keyword can actually target both of those. So in this uh, case, the keyword won't help us. So what would? And again, going to the ad. So in this example, the headline could say something like document translation service, you know, make sure it fits a 25 character limit. And this document translation service fits with, fits with this and you have a great click-through rate, great quality score, you know you're qualified. So the headline will be the same if it's B2B, B2C. But the interesting part is uh, the line one. So if you're going after B2C, you can say any document in over 40 languages, right? So if that were the selling point. Um, and that could bring in B2B or B2C, they're both qualified, uh, that's fine. However, to limit for business only, you would spell out for business only. $200 minimum, put your minimum in there. And this will disqualify a lot of the B2C clients who can't afford a $200, who are not a business, really call it out. Now, there are going to be a lot more searches for people looking for, uh, for B2C clients, because there's not many more people rather than businesses. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to have a high impression, right, people, but you're going to have low clicks because this is going to disqualify many people and you're going to have a bad CTR, which many people are afraid of. Bad CTR, so bad quality score, right, and then you're going to pay more per click, all that stuff happens. It's going to be inevitable because if you don't do this and you get a great click-through rate, but the traffic is, has no value to you, then it's not worth it. So you might as well take the hit on the quality score and the click-through rate and the cost per click, but get the right people clicking on the ad. I mean, someone that clicks on an ad that says for business only, $200 minimum, and they still click on your ad, they are qualified traffic. So after the click-through rate, after the quality score and the cost per click, all that stuff, you're still going to be better off targeting who you want to target. Line two could say something more generic, fast turnaround, things like that. Display URL could write for business only um, if you'd like. Something in there, again, display URL, you can use it however you want uh, after you use your root domain. So that is really the, um, how to address it. You want to, you could do it in the headline if it's possible. If not, line one has to call out who you want to target. Uh, make that be the qualifier. Again, keywords is an option for some, but if you want to reach the larger market, um, you want to, you're going to put more generic keywords. And again, the ad is going to be a solution. So it is a challenge. There are struggles. It's not a perfect solution, but it works. So good luck.